So if you guys are wanting to print your own snowblower, this is like the largest piece for the whole thing. The giant uh, case. And this is a 12 inch printer, my own custom built ones. A lot of people ask me like what printers they can use to print these. And I'm not the greatest person to ask just because I run my own machines that I made. So, you know, I don't really know what's all out there. But I would, um, like, if, if you're going to print your own giant snowblower or snowcat, like, you need to get your nozzle to print 1.2 millimeters. Like, if, if you guys try to print this with 0.4 millimeters, like it's it's just absolutely awful because the the print times for the entire snowcat with a 1.2 nozzle is like 200 and some hours which honestly isn't that bad if you print that same thing with a 0.4 nozzle you're talking literally like close to a thousand hours of print time which is just stupid so please upgrade your printer for 1.2 nozzle there's it's so cheap and easy to do on Amazon you can get a a clone volcano hot end for like 20 bucks or less like you know take the time to do it before you try printing this stuff you can see this this gigantic piece which is like huge is is 14 hours 14 and a half hours in which is not that bad some of the, like this is definitely the longest single print of the whole thing. But some stuff like the uh, auger pieces, it's like two hours or two and a half hours or so for two pieces, which is like really short in terms of printing. And then I also run uh, one FT5 printer, which if, I guess if I w were to recommend a printer, it would be that. It's from Folger Tech. And I, um, I just, made it enclosed easily by just buying these really thin panels it's the same ones that I use on those and it works just fine um, I prefer my own spiker printers that I made over this but this one is it works you know and here it's printing out some snowblower blades for the giant uh, machine and even these snowblower blades with a 1.2 nozzle it's like an hour and a half really short prints with you go if you go with a bigger nozzle even though it's physically moving slower you're putting down more volume this one is moving extremely slow just because it's at the very top of the print it wasn't it wasn't moving that slow the whole time it was about this speed here but even though it's moving slower you're printing fa like like probably eight times faster than a 0.4 nozzle even if you're cranking it up to like 80 millimeters a second or something so like please invest in a volcano because you can even get these nozzles um, as much as I like to support the genuine E3D company because that's who made these nozzles like I did buy genuine Titan extruders but I, I stopped buying their genuine nozzles because the, the last batch that I got from them had like chips all over the end and I seen this picture on their Facebook group of like just an entire box full of nozzles without any packing material in between them and then when you order the clone Chinese versions on Amazon they come like this you know individually packaged so like nothing against E3D but you can get these so much cheaper on Amazon so like there's, there's literally no reason you guys should be printing this with a 0.4 nozzle. I wouldn't even do it with a 0.8. You know, take the time to upgrade your machine for sure. And check out that, this one just finished. I don't have a part cooling fan on my printers, so I just drop the speed really low when it's doing, you know, when it's doing one part that's really tall like that. And it works just fine. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to print yours and if you have any questions or anything on settings and things um, I believe I was doing I think it's 0.4 yeah 0.4 layer heights with a 1.2 nozzle so it's it's like really squishing it together to make it 
that's the other benefit of going to 1.2 is the parts are structurally stronger because there's just more heat you know when the plastics coming out like definitely 0.4 prints are much more fragile than prints with a 1.2 nozzle and um, I'm doing two perimeters of inf or, uh, two perimeters and then infill some parts I'll do 100% solid and then other parts I'll actually put infill like this one had infill in the big chunk chunky parts and um, these, just because they're the augers, I went up to three perimeters on them. But yeah, let me know if you guys have questions and stuff on settings. And let me know. Thanks for watching.